Well, I've been filming way too many delivery videos, but it's okay because Schmee's in town. Let's go. <laughs> Purple Zenva, welcome to Utah. I had to bring your color out here. Well, I appreciate you. I appreciate all the way from the United Kingdom. Another Schmee reveal is here at the Strat House. And we got two more hyper cars as well, right inside. Whoa, hello. Just in time. Welcome back, baby. <laughs> Just casually dumping the only Zenvo in North America just right down the street. I love it. It's been Brad's first time ever driving it, and he's parked it like a yard from the curb. It's got carbon wheels, right? <laughs> it does have carbon wheels. No, no, I get it. I get it. Hey, going, hey, hey no, you're fine. you're fine. You're fine. How much do those wheels cost? I want to guess about 20,000 a wheel. Yeah, that's 20,000 more than Brad wants to pay. <laughs> exactly. So I've narrowed the hypercar choice down to four finalists. I decided the Bugatti Chiron P1, I drove those two weeks ago. I love the Chiron, but it's a million dollars more than the P1. The P1 makes more sense. One of the finalists, of course, is the Porsche 918 Spider. We also have a gigantic 4x4 square that Sophia is somehow going to squeeze inside of. This thing is an absolute unit. I'd imagine most of you guys probably know exactly who owns this, Mr. Steve Hamilton. So he's going to be visiting in a couple days and we are the caretaker the babysitter for his collection my oh my one of the all-time most beautiful cars this thing is crazy it's one of the holy trinity there's only 918 of these in the entire world this is a successor to the Carrera GT you have 887 horsepower and NAV8 with electric assist this thing though I don't know, boys. We might have to go 918. So the last time I had a Pagani from the Hamilton collection in my house, it was stuck in the trailer for six hours. This one's gonna be a whole lot easier. To get into this car, you gotta be a little bit of a contortionist. I gotta somehow squeeze in. What? So easy. This thing is crazy, though. Oh, my. I don't think I've been in a Pagani since that day. Reverse slowly and ever so cautiously. We got to get this off the trailer It's always mildly terrifying backing one of these off the semi truck I'm sitting on that platform right now you guys can't see whatsoever But if the hydraulic system fails I fall and I die This is definitely not the worst way to start off a Monday morning with the wider roadster and the 918 spider lift up we're good now This is a proper trio of cars right here. They look so crazy. I absolutely love the Zen though This is the only one in North America. I think they built like 15 of these I know absolutely nothing about this car except it has 1200 horsepower and the spec is absolutely beautiful Sophia cool it sounds so cool in there so earlier Sophia said she didn't really like the 918 but this is actually Steve Hamilton's favorite car of all of his cars he's ever owned he has owned everything he likes the 918 you need to drive it it sounds so amazing I mean if I have to see we got to take Brad off to the airport we're taking the Zen for the wider road and of course the Porsche 918 spider I have never driven one of these ever I've ridden in a couple of them and about five or six years ago I had one of the scariest moments of my entire life I almost was in a head-on collision in a 918 spider we live we survive but uh, we're in full EV mode we're gonna twist the dial right there into sport mode and that NAV8 fires up. Come on, Timmy. Let's go. Let's go. Bye. See you later. I'm in that Porsche magic and we go. Bye bye. What in the world? Okay, but the 918. Okay. Jeez. That thing's crazy. How fast is she? Oh, she's fast. What? Oh my gosh. Okay. Porsche. Uh, okay. Yeah, when this car came out, it was the quickest car in the world. It makes sense. But goodness gracious, the 918 reminds me so much of the Remock. You see that gap? That gap is gone. And this sounds a whole lot better because you got an NAV8. You have the electric assist. Never thought I'd see the day. That's a Nissan Z on the road. What? I have yet to see. What? Why are there no Nissan Zs on the street? I have one. That is the second one I've seen in the state of Utah. That's crazy. We saw a Z. That's more rare than a Zenvo. If you're a Porsche fan, boy, don't hate me, okay? I, I love Porsche. Like, God bless Porsche. The problem with the 918, if I could have 15 hypercars, I definitely have one. But if I have one hypercar, I want the car to go boom, boom, bang, and the flames go out the exhaust and the doors go up. Like, I want it to feel like an alien spaceship. And the 918 is really, really, really fast and fairly daily drive. It's got Bluetooth. The air conditioning works. You probably could drive this car 100,000 miles. It's funny because in every single way, the 918 Spider is better than Pagani Wyra. But did you see the active arrow? You look at the mirrors. Like, listen to that thing. It's got a twin turbo peak 12 from AMG. Like, it's a Pagani. It's a Hawaii ride. It's the god of wind. See your Pagani Wyra, and I raise you a 918. You don't want this sauce. Bro. I don't want the race. No, you don't. No, you don't. That's the one thing about the 918. As far as pure acceleration, this car is next level. It has electrification. Okay? Your car's got two turbos. You got no electricity, though. Four wheel drive. You're a better driver, though. <laughs> He's got the driver mod, but I got the Porsche. The Porsche. The Porsche. Porsche. That sounds pretty good. Yeah. Bye. 
See you later. Go. Oh, 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 oh my God. The thing about this car, though, it goes like bananas. It goes like no car in the world. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take your fancy active arrow. I raise you a Porsche, a Porsche. Maybe I was wrong about the 918. That's kind of the first acceleration I've done. That'll make you go. That thing is the God of Wind, and it goes like my mother. No, no, that should have ruined my moment. Oh my gosh! It just keeps going. There's no way to it. Goes and goes and goes and goes. And that V8 just comes to life. As soon as you get above like maybe 4,000 RPMs, you can really hear that. The exhaust is sitting right behind you. All right, all right. First pure acceleration. This is so addicting. It's so good from all the way to 9,000. To all the Porsche engineers watching today's video, Sub's hair is going crazy. This thing is an absolute mental piece. This thing on a racetrack, it's so easy. This car is so easy to drive so fast. You don't have to do anything. All right, all right. I'm starting to like this car a little bit more. Yeah, so when this car was brand new, it was only $845,000, which is a ton of money. But as far as a hypercar, this thing was an absolute bargain. The only problem is these cars have gone up in value about three times. So they're about two and a half, well, two, let's say two to two and a half million dollars. It's a lot of money. And straighten up and go. It is so addicting. This car is crazy. What? You see a gap and you hit that gap. As far as like a track day weapon, this is the best. You put this car performance metrics, this thing handles on like it's on rails. The only thing I would say about this car compared to like a Koenigsegg, a Pagani, a Bugatti, those cars are more of like an event. Whereas this car is like, it's like going to the dentist, but a really, really, like the best dentist in the world. That makes sense, right, a really good dentist. And I like dentists, I really like dentists. It doesn't have the, the occasion. If you could drive a car, and there is no speed limit, and you could do whatever you want, and you go full send all the time, every time, this would be the car. I already know all the Porsche enthusiasts are triggered in the comments below because I said driving a 19 is like going to the dentist. I didn't mean it like that. It's Driving this is like a surgical experience. You're hitting the apexes, you're accelerating at the perfect moment, you're hitting the brakes just at the right time, not too early, not too late. This car is the most amazing performance car. Base MSRP back in 2014 was $845,000. As far as performance for the money, you cannot beat it. Now this car in particular, it has the optional Weissach Pock. The Weissach, is that pronunciation right? W-E-I-S-S-A-C-H. You'd think it's Weissach, but it's Weissach. Weissach. Now that was an $84,000 option. It reduced the weight of the car by 90 pounds. You get more carbon fiber here on the diffuser. You get the carbon fiber roof, a couple other bits and pieces. I'm not gonna bore you with all the information, but it's crazy. You lose 90 pounds for $84,000. All you gotta do is lay off the bacon cheeseburger and save yourself $84,000. So, 918 Spider to the Pagani, why you're the god of wind. Every time I get in a Pagani, I have a bit of imposter syndrome because this car is one of the most classy, sophisticated cars in the entire world. I am absolutely none of that whatsoever. I actually look, I actually look pretty classy and sophisticated. Show them the yeah, yeah, yeah. Sophia, I hope you guys can see. So I ripped my jacket and I used some tape to, to fix it and Sophia thinks that's funny. Like I said, I don't really belong in this car, but uh, I like it. The problem is, I have no idea where the keys are, so un momento, por favor. Un momento, por favor. That was very good. Thank you. Improving. You just can't help but smile when you're in a Pagani. It's a different kind of smile, boys. It's just such an occasion. The 918 is better, and I know the Porsche enthusiasts are going to be so mad, but it's just, there's a hundred of these in the entire world. There's 918 918s, and like, listen to that. It all comes down to like, what is your purpose for the car? If you wanna go really, really fast, you wanna go around a racetrack, you wanna be a track day hero, the 918 is the car. But this car, this has the intangibles, the things you can't describe, the smile on your face that you can't wipe off, just that dumb grin. I can't stop smiling, this thing is so special. <laughs> it's so much fun! Oh, look at self, you see? That's what I'm talking about. That's the hypercar. Listen to those turbos. And the 918, it would be gone. We wouldn't even see it anymore. But it doesn't matter, boys. It doesn't matter. <laughs> when you're in this car the whole time, you're like, I'm in a Pagani. I'm in a Pagani. You just keep saying that to yourself on repeat because it's so special. <laughs> I never get political on my channel, however, Daylight savings. Can we please get rid of it? Can we please abolish it? It is like 4.45 p.m. here in Utah and it's dark. It's dark. It's ridiculous. I get rid of it. Shmi just summed up perfectly what I've been trying to say about the 918. It's perfect. 
The and car is perfect, and that's perfect. where it's not perfect. Perfect and clinical takes away emotion and rawness and excitement, which is... Where have you been? I've been trying to explain that. <laughs> I said driving the 19 is like going to the dentist. And then I realized I could see the Porsche fanboys typing away, and you just described it perfectly. The 19 is a great car, but it's because it's so easy to drive, and so easy to use, and so livable, and nothing's gonna go wrong, and it's gonna work all the time. That's what, if you drive lots of these crazy cars, you sometimes want a bit more of, or, or a bit less of, or a bit, I don't know what I'm saying. Brilliant. Absolutely, yeah, <laughs> no, that's exactly it. Now the problem with the Pagani Wyra, it has a lot of that, but it doesn't have like that baseline performance that you want. This car it has all the turbo washing noises you could ever imagine, but acceleration, performance, top speed, it's just, it's not there. McLaren P1, Porsche 911 Spider, La Ferrari, Bugatti Chiron, or Koenigsegg Regera. You can only have one, and you can never sell it. What is it? It's very easy for me. I know, gonna I know what it's going to be. I know what it's going to be. Do you? Oh, absolutely. I, I don't know if you do. I do. Okay. Absolutely. I know exactly what it is. La Ferrari. Yeah. La Ferrari. I knew it. I knew yeah. it. You got to get Ferrari trousers, though. You got to get the Ferrari shoes and the Ferrari watch and the Ferrari and hat and the Ferrari sunglasses. If you get a La Ferrari someday, I will buy you all the merch. Okay? Yeah. So you'll get a buy one, get one free. I'm going to hold that. All the no, no, no. I got gotcha. you. I was at the Geneva Motor Show where the La Ferrari was introduced. I actually wasn't that wowed by it. Right. At the time, I, I didn't go, oh my god, one day I'm going to love that thing. Fast forward 10 years, I can't get enough of it. I need to drive a lot for ride. Very, very, very soon. Sooner than you think. One thing I never noticed, it's got the 4x4 four four squared coming off the mirror. That's sick. I've been going back and forth on selling the Ram TRX and upgrading to a 4x4 four four squared. The only issue with the new one, these are trading for like $325,000, whereas the old Gen 4x4 four four squared, they're about $175,000. I think that could be a pretty cool daily driver, and it weighs over 6,000 pounds. Just saying, couple little baby revs, nothing crazy, but crazy enough. Let me find neutral for Oh, true. Okay. Definitely neutral, because if you go straight into the event of the rest of the Kutash, that's a bad day. Ready? Yes. Steve Hamilton, what is that? That's disgusting. Yeah, he needs an exhaust. What? We might have been in comfort mode. Yeah, we might need to pop it into Sport Plus. Sport Plus. Sport there Plus, okay, a couple more revs, couple more revs. Round two, baby. Okay, okay, okay. I've heard better though. Come on, Steve. Come on, Steve. No, say it, say it. No, I had an exhaust on my G. I'm all for exhaust on G wagons. Okay, there we Come go. Come on, Steve. <laughs> let's go, let's go, Steve. In the last year I've lived here in the house, we've had some pretty nice collections of cars, but I think tonight may be the best of the best. Keep her going back. Oh, okay, okay. That's gotta be an exhaust, right? No, I think that's that's factory. factory? Really? That is a snap right there. I like that. Okay. Steve, this one sounds good. Steve, I salute you. AMG twin turbocharged V12. That ain't bad. That is not bad with a bunch of... I don't know if you guys can see that. The wider coupe was the Pugani, and it appears this one is... Pugani version 2.0. I really hope the Porsche purists are not mad at me. We're talking about the 1% of the 1% of cars. So although I have decided to pass on the Porsche 911 Spider, it's not because the car is not amazing. I mean, look at it. The car is absolutely gorgeous. And the red here in the garage looks amazing. After selling the STS, we have been missing this color. Tim just asked a very important question. Why didn't we take the roof off the 918? It's because we got lazy. We ran out of time. It's not that hard. I Two know. Panels in the front and tomorrow. I'm sure you've already said it. The exhaust tailpipes are that close to I your know, head. I know, I know. I messed up. I, me I didn't know. That's what the Porsche guys are saying. You are standing up for Porsche Nation right now. I messed up. It's like two foot. When Steve Hamilton comes to Utah, we're going to take the roof off. I promise you. Porsche 918 Spider, one of the most crazy, exhilarating cars I've ever driven. Unfortunately, I cannot buy all five cars. We are going to cross the 918 Spider off the list, and today's video is over.